Good morning. My paper is on prevalence of glaucoma in South Assam, a hospital-based study. The authors have no financial interest in this presentation. Glaucoma, as we all know, is a leading cause of irreversible blindness worldwide, and the varying prevalence in Indian population are 2.3 to 4.7%. The purpose of our study was to prevalence assess the prevalence of glaucoma in patients attending a tertiary care center in South Assam. So the study was conducted in Silchar of Kachar district in Assam, which has a population of 1 crore 73 lakhs. We also catered to the surrounding states of Manipur, Mizoram, Tripura, and parts of Meghalaya. It is a population-based cross-sectional study in a hospital setup from December 2015 to March 2020. All patients above the age of 40 years were subjected to opportunistic screening for glaucoma, intraocular pressure, Van Herrick grading of anterior chamber angle and disc evaluation was done for all cases. And those who were glaucoma suspects, they were evaluated further. Intraocular pressure was measured by rebound eye care tonometry. And if it, if it is found then more than 21, then confirmed with applanation tonometry, disc evaluation by plus 90 diopter lens, gonioscopy by four meter handheld gonioscope, perimetry by JAIS visual field analyzer, Central corneal thickness and retinal nerve fiber layer analysis was done by Jai Cirrus HDOCT. Disc photography was done by Canon digital retinal camera. The operational definition was, if any two or more of the following was found, he was leveled as glaucoma, intraocular pressure more than 21 in either eye, vertical cup disc ratio of more than 0.6 in either eye or an asymmetry of 0.2, Van Herrick grading of two or less and in perimetry glaucomatous field effect according to the Anderson's criteria. It was leveled as primary open angle glaucoma if it was open angle on gonioscopy and primary angle closer glaucoma if on gonioscopy it shows presence of an occlutable angle. Secondary glaucoma was defined if the patient had a history of topical steroid, history of trauma, surgery, chronic uveitis or pseudo exfoliation. Our results show out of 27,869 subjects evaluated, the overall prevalence was found to be N equal to 612, that is 2.04%. Out of that, primary open angle glaucoma was present in 1.76%. Primary angle closer was found in 0.27%. An additional 0.35% had primary angle closer and primary angle closer suspect. So, our prevalence was found to be less than that of the Velori study and the Andhra Pradesh eye disease study, but it was almost in uh, accordance with the Hooghly River study, which was conducted in West Bengal, and the RR Khandelwal study, which was published in 2019. So we conclude the study is the first of its kind from this part of the country. The strength of the study being large population base and it spanned four years duration. We have found that primary open angle glaucoma was most common in our st study setup and the prevalence of angle closer was lower than that of other studies. Thank you very much. Thank you, Madri. Refractive error in this patient. Yes, ma'am. Refractive error was also there, but yes, ma'am. Any correlation? We have not tried to find that out, of course, about correlation of myopia and glaucoma. This correlation we have not done. Manti, you have done visual field test by 30 2 in all patients. But yes. That was the standard, but of course, if the field was very bad and if the vision was too less to do that, then we have gone to 10-2 if necessary. But in the in the inclusion criteria for glaucoma, you have included only more than 0.6 disc or asymmetry or IOP24. Their visual field was not there. For defining glaucoma, the yeah. different, different no, no, sir, it was there. Do you want me to again share that screen? Can it, can it out? Yeah, I will share that screen. Yeah. <clears throat> so any two of the criteria would... Yeah, I, I will just uh, go back there. Yeah. 
it's a glaucomatous field effect yes no so, any no. two no. you have written no any so, any two can define glaucoma it no. could be a misjudge and the vertical cup disc ratio in uh, 0.6 may not be a glaucomatous so okay. that is okay. bias in this that 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 is that is exactly my point, ma'am. Is right. Even the if the vertical cup disc is is point six or more, it cannot be glaucoma. It can be normal also. And mm -hmm. I have twenty one also. So yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I I agree to this. Mm -hmm. Dr. Imanti, yes. you have a heterogeneous population. Uh, you have uh, people with Mongolian genetics also. I think yes. some tribal population also. Yes, yes, we have, how do you we have tribal. How do you we have tribal you have population? Bias, you know. And there was yeah. a study conducted from this part on uh, correlation with the Manipuri tribes. And it was found that uh, glaucoma is relatively high in the Manipuri subpopulation. Okay. Is that Manipuri subpopulation have an angle-closure type or an open angle-closure type? Uh, usually angle-closure type is more common in them. Actually, when we think of Northeast, uh, most of the time we think that uh, primary angle closure type of glaucoma would be more prevalent in that part of the city, that part of the country. So I was a little surprised to see from your study that open angle glaucoma was uh, much higher compared to primary angle closure, which may be because of the definition that you have, uh, you have mentioned, uh, the way you defined, uh, try to define open angle glaucoma, maybe those are open angle glaucoma suspects than the real disease itself. Do you think so? This operational definition was also used by the Hooghly River study, sir, uh, and also in the Andhra Pradesh eye disease study. But that, 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 doesn't, that doesn't fit to the definition of glaucoma, actually. You cannot tell a 0.6 cubic ratio as open-angle glaucoma. You can say it's an open-angle glaucoma suspect, isn't okay. it? 